Dr. Yang Ito. Oh, it tripped a fan. It tripped on a fan? Oh, that's, that's quite unfortunate. Why don't you have a seat over here? Let's see. Oh, that, that blood's coagulating. Looks like chondrixes. We may have to amputate. So let me... What? Janitor! Uh, there is... Um, I have some, uh, some very sweet thing to do. I'll just, yeah. Don't worry. We'll get the doctors here right away. Can't do this all on my own. I know that I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. As I walked into the hospital this morning, I couldn't help but wonder what ridiculous cases I would have today. As a med student, I got stuck with the worst and most difficult patients. Last week, a patient came in with a light bulb of his, well, you know, and I had to take it out. But, I don't know, I guess things could be worse. Or maybe not. Besides the janitor, this job is actually pretty sweet. The only thing I really have trouble with is coming up with things to talk to my patients about. Bambi, I need you over here with the patient. Oh my goodness, what happened, miss? I tripped a fan. You, you tripped a fan? Hold here one second, I'll take care of this for you. Can you hold that? Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of blood. Almost as much as deer aging. I wonder if she uses mango flavored body cream. Or if she likes dogs, we could talk about dogs. Nah, she's probably a pony person. Ooh, tell her how long you can hold your breath. No, that's stupid. Tell her! No! Huh, I wonder what Turk is up to. Oh my god, she has a big head. Where are all these random ideas coming from? Okay, this silence has gone on way too long. Just finish up and get the hell out of here. There, all finished. You'll be much better in no time. Oh hey, Chocolate Bear, how's your day been? Good, but... I wasn't cutting people up all day. I had to screw around and drink all the damn time. Huh. That's exactly what college was like. Alright, class. Today, we're going to learn about dicots and monocots. Now, there are two types of flowering plants. With one leaf is the monocot. And with two leaves, we've got the dicots. So, for this class, all that you need to know is that mono... Oh, that... Oh, look at the time. All right, well, that's all for today. Uh, you two, clean up the board, and I'm getting out of here. I got your back, Teach. Come on, Tech, let's get the board. Give me a second. Uh. Hey, Tech, look at this. You get it? Oh, that's real funny, bud. Mine's big. Yeah, you're cool. Want to get some beers? Apple teenies? Not what I said. Hey, Todd! Oh, that's what a die cut is. Let's see what, whoa. Oh my god, it's high school prom all over again. So Carla, what seems to be the problem here? Well, as you may have noticed, the patient seems to have a uh, wee bit of swelling down there. I'd say. Uh, and I think it may be deep vein thrombosis, but I wanted to ask your opinion. Um, I'd have to agree with you. I think the only treatment is surgery. Surgery? Amputation? I've got a vacuole you guys can borrow. I don't know. I kind of want to keep it. It's really grown on me. Really? Damn it. Well, if you want to keep it, there's nothing we really can do for you here. I guess you're free to go home. Hey, JD, I... Whoa. Nice Dicot. Dicot 5. 
You know what? The Todd is right. We have to embrace the changes in life. Whether you're going to a new school or just now hitting puberty, you just have to go with it. And yeah, sometimes you'll fall down and get hurt, but your friends will be right there beside you to help pick you back up. Have fun, meet new people, and take risks. You just gotta make these memories count. Yeah, girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. I, I, I work out. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body.